Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to go to Utah first, into the Wasatch, where some light snow has redeveloped as expected. And I do think this is going to pick up overnight into the morning hours tomorrow. There's a front that's going to basically come out of the Tetons and Idaho. It's going to drop right across the Wasatch overnight tomorrow morning. And I think we could see three to six inches of snow as this happens, as the front comes through. So expect that snow to pick up just a little bit overnight into tomorrow morning. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So this is all part of storm system number one, three six through three eight. Then the pattern's going to shift to the north in favor of the Pacific Northwest, BC, and the northern tier, three nine through three eleven. And then that whole thing is going to dig to the south. The northern branch will buckle to the south. The pattern will shift into Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado with moderate to heavy snow, 311 through 315. Here's my timeline. So the Wasatch, three to six inches, basically from now through the first half of tomorrow. And then you've got some heavy snow coming the afternoon of 311 through 313. Tetons, one to two inches tonight, so just kind of like residual leftover snow. And then heavy snow, 311 through 313. Colorado light to moderate snow tomorrow and also 38 and moderate to heavy snow, 312 through 315, with that final storm system. In the northeast, you've got heavy rain coming tonight through tomorrow morning, and then still looks like the potential's there for snow. I've kind of shifted the timeline forward just a little bit, so late 39 into 310. Okay, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor imagery this afternoon and just give you the lay of the land. So here's what I'm seeing. So on this, oranges and reds are your drier air, your moisture aloft is in your whites, your blues. There's our our low pressure, and you can almost see it. You see this boundary right here in the brighter whites? That's what's going to swing down through um, the Wasatch overnight and tomorrow morning. Well, this low is actually headed towards Colorado and New Mexico, and that's going to that's going to uh, mature on about 3.8. It might last into 3.9, but that should bring some decent snow to southern Colorado. I'll show you those numbers coming up, but I also want to point out on the northern branch, you've got a low here and you've got a low here. All of this just being carried by the northern branch, and this is what's set to move into BC in the Pacific Northwest, 3.9 through 3.11. Okay, here's the latest jet forecast. So end of day today, that's what it looks like. You can see the dip. That's our storm system moving through California, and then it rolls in, into the interior um, towards Colorado and northern New Mexico, and that's where the low may, might actually strengthen on 3.8. So there's 3.8 close of day, and by 3.9 the low's moving away. Now everything is shifting up to the Pacific Northwest. You can see it, that's where the jet stream is running, so that's where we're going to see most of the moisture. BC, Pacific Northwest, northern tier of states. Now after 3.11, the whole thing starts to shift to the south. Look at the dip in the jet moving down and towards Utah. 313, Colorado, Wyoming, and it's still there on 314 and 315. Putting some precip on top of all this, so your forecast radar and satellite by 530 today, that's what it's going to look like. So overnight, that snow kind of shifts down through the Wasatch, starts to develop in Colorado as well, and there we are by 37 in the afternoon. The snow would be coming to an end in the Wasatch and just still developing in Colorado. In fact, you can see some of the precips starting to fill in over the top of Denver late Thursday into Friday morning. We'll probably have some, some light snow over the top of uh, Denver in the Front Range down to 5280. And you can see the snow down in southern Colorado. It's a little, little bit heavier down there and also northern New Mexico. And then the whole thing begins to pull away by late Friday into early Saturday. Then the focus shifts to the Pacific Northwest, BC, and Northern Tier states. But here comes that shift. There's 311, that initial storm already dragging some moisture down through parts of Idaho, Wyoming, and um, parts of uh, Utah and the Wasatch. And then it moves into Colorado. But here comes the bigger storm system here. 312, 313, and also 314. You can see it moving through. And then it actually spins up a little bit and strengthens in Colorado and New Mexico. And then that's the end of it by 315. All right, here's my new grand total map for this afternoon, and this will run us all the way through the end of 315. Um, so still looking at about a foot, foot and a half through the Wasatch grand total, you know, by the end of 315. Numbers in the Tetons have trended down just a touch, but still looking at potentially 5 to 10 inches. In Colorado, 8 to 16, but the bigger numbers are going to be down in the San Juans. Um, with both storm systems that come through Colorado, the first and the second, um, they'll both bring more snow deliver more snow to southern Colorado than anywhere else. And you can see the numbers starting to tick up in the Pacific Northwest and BC, especially 3, 9, 10, and 11, with 1, 2, maybe even 3 feet right along the coast, and then anywhere from maybe 5 to 10 
through interior BC. Okay, here's, let me break it down by time period. So this is the rest of today through tomorrow. Uh, again, some light leftover snow in the Tetons, uh, three to six across the Wasatch and potentially uh, one to four, one to five in Colorado. Second time period, three eight through three ten, leftover snow in Colorado on three eight, early three nine, and northern New Mexico, and then it exits, and then it's all about what's happening up in the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia. Okay, final time period, three eleven through three fifteen, everything starts to shift back to the south. That's when we could pick up another foot in the Wasatch, another four to eight in the Tetons, and roughly four to twelve in Colorado, and the Sierra gets a little bit during that time period as well. Okay, going to the Northeast. The numbers have held in this afternoon's update. They were high this morning, they're high this afternoon. So again, rain, heavy rain tonight, tomorrow morning, and then uh, looking at snow, late 3-9 through the day on 3-10. Assuming the temperatures stay cold enough, we could end up with a foot at a lot of the major ski areas. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.